Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Clay. Got a few questions to get started here. Raise your hand if you like beer. Raise your hand if you like going out to eat. And keep it raised if you like waiting for the bill every time you go out. No. And that's Brio. We let you pay your bar tab and your check right from your phone in real time. You solve the red zone. Now this is a problem that every restaurant faces during the rushes. High volume spots, it's time spent losing money every time there's a manual payment process. You finish your meal, but you don't leave until 15 minutes later because you have to wait for your waiter to finish the payment process. At a bar tab, every time you pay a bar tab, you have to wait 15 minutes. Meanwhile, there's people trying to get inside the venue. Two, times, two turns later, the wait time's 30 minutes longer than it should be because of the inefficient payment process. This is money lost in every single rush. I know better than anyone. I was a server and bartender who came frustrated every single night. One time I was a patron who missed his train because he couldn't get the bill. And I thought there had to be a better way. So we created it, and that's Brio. By integrating with the point of sale, you can open a bar tab or connect to the point of sale by entering your table number. You order through to the server like normal, and they input the bill into the point of sale. We update in real time on your phone so you can split and pay when you're ready. Returning tables 15 minutes faster and saving bartenders hours so they can facilitate more drink orders in busy venues. Our business model is $2,000 or $200 monthly, 10 cents per payment. And then we also have targeted ad revenue. We're talking with Miller Coors because we can target every single user based on their drink history. So we can actually we can actually tag an ad to a sale in venue, and that's something that they can't do in the space today. We can also uh, white label our app for custom pricing for corporate chains. So we're talking to Cooper's Hawk Winery, who's in interested in our technology. Some of our traction, we started on UW uh, Madison's campus, um, ran some pilots, facilitated payments, and everything was great except we didn't integrate with the point of sale. So we pivoted and rebuilt the back end over the past summer. Uh, we've also gone through pre-accelerator programs in Madison and closed a $100,000 pre-seed round. The team, I'm Clay. I have restaurant experience and product management experience at Culligan. Chris, he's done uh, Projects for Thomson Reuters, and he's computer science. Brand is our back-end lead, who's also a computer science graduate and has done back-end development at Sony and now a healthcare software Keo. Some of our advisors have scaled restaurants from concept to over 40 locations and $200 million plus in annual revenue. We also have club promoters on our advisory board. Uh, our tech side's built apps for Mercedes-Benz, FedEx, and um, Brian Yon's a former hot, uh, head of IT at uh, Noodles & Company. We're partnering with his point of sale reseller to deploy in 40 lo 400 locations in Wisconsin. Um, we're looking for some experience to help us in mentorship, and that's why we're here at the Food Foundry, and I'd like to open up to any questions. Well, I only aggregated data. Uh, oh, yeah, so uh, it's, a, it's a question about data privacy in terms of credit card transactions and who owns the data. So I own the data, but um, we will, we're creating a portal so that you can view everything that we know about you. We're trying to be transparent, not trying to be Mark Zuckerberg over here. You know. Um, this is a $1.2 billion market uh, at $200 a month for full service and drinking places. That's ignoring any ad revenue or actually payment processing revenue. So that's strictly the $200 SAS fee. And, and from a competitive perspective, does anyone else want to use all these platforms? Yeah, so there are some competitors out there. Um, there there's actually one that's coming to Chicago right now, Room. Um, but they're in a few cities where they're targeting like bigger cities and more upscale populations. We're targeting high chaos, high volume, mainly college bars, right, where kids are going like three times a week. Um, and then we feel that we can create that density in those smaller markets because here's six bars that everyone goes to. Here's where they are during the day so we can target our ad dollars and have repeat users um, much easier than like tackling a huge complex market like Chicago. Uh, the process, yeah, I mean, we're built on the same back-end API, but some of the things that they don't do, they don't do the full-service bill splitting, which has been critical. Um, I actually have a friend who exited to them. Seems their domain knowledge is a little bit um, 
like in the restaurant space. And uh, we do the agri we do the um, data collection, which they don't currently have in their platform. So you can actually one sec here. You can actually rate each item, so we can aggregate each um, the response to each item and act as like a restaurant consultant. So um, there's a few different points that we differentiate on. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.